Good evening, you're watching Trams TV. Join me, John Gladwin, assistant manager of Coin FC. John, what do you think of today's game? I was happy with it. No, I was over the moon with it. The boys reacted. Last week against Brighton Roads, we were poor. The boys knew it. We all knew it. We walked away from there really, really down. You know, four games on the bounce, lost. And even being a cup game, it, it weren't good. You know, and we needed an answer. We needed to react today. And uh, home tie, going four five one. People say you're mad. You're at home. You've got an advantage. <coughs> what you sort of are shutting up shop. But we needed to get a structure and uh, make ourselves hard to beat, which we did very very well. From the off, we bossed the game. We were playing a better football. Snodding the strong side. There is. There is. To be horrible to you, put one up you, and uh, we read, we read it, and uh, yeah, came away two 0 victorious winners, three points in the bag, and a very happy standing manager today. Mm. It's a massive three points, John, and uh, and uh, great couple of goals from Martin Smith as well. Oh, a massive couple of goals, you know, Martin. Uh, that's what he does. He's a goal scorer, you know. He's here. He come into this club to score goals and. Winners games, and today he proved why he is one of the best non-league players around. Just not in the Croydon leagues, any league that he touches, Martin Smith is a special player. And today he stepped up. The first one was a goal, started from the defence, got up the field, mm. and he bent into the far corner, a goal that most most people wouldn't wouldn't do. And he took it very well, and that got the boys pumped. Mm. And then we had a belief: if we get another one, Snodden will will fold. And then he got the forty yarder. Free kick, the free kick set up, and it was a long, 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 long way out. As the footage will follow, you'll see, and uh, the way he took it, it was special. And you see from the reaction from the celebrations, the, the, the boys couldn't believe it, he couldn't believe it, the crowd couldn't believe it, and yeah, and what a way to end on a victorious note and with a goal like that, you know. So yeah, take my hat off to Martin today. He took the ball by the horns, and you know, and very two very good chances. Fantastic cut the goals, and but also the other end, fantastic clean sheet as well. Mate, I will take my hat off to the defence. Being a defensive man, that where I played for, for most of my non-league career, you know, I know it's a hard position. At the end of the day, the boys at the top don't put the ball in the net. You are very vulnerable to conceding a goal when mm. the pressure's on. Martin done us a favour by putting two in the back of the net, but not only that, the back line was led very well, not just from the skipper to end day, but from Simba. Dammy and Hanny, if they done very well, and they had Henry behind them. Mm. Peter Boyd has stopped talking. Nah. He's, he's very young, but he's very solid. And you're in safe hands with Henry. You know, he comes, collects, and you have the insurance of John Levy, Josh, and Sims in front. And it worked very well. You know, we had the, the wingers on the side that got forward and helped Martin out. But defensively, we looked like we was never going to be troubled. You know, mm. the tackles flying in, the, the determination to win every 50-50 battle. As you see, a few head injuries flying around, and the boys showed heart and passion today, and uh, that's what we've not had in the last few, few, few games. So <coughs> I'm proud of them. You know, I can go home tonight, I can sleep very well, and I know that every single one of my boys today give absolutely everything that their bodies had, and they will be happy with their performance, and we roll it onto the next one. And a fantastic, um, a fantastic win, John, and uh, onto Lid Town away a couple of weeks time. Yeah, Lid, Lid Town, you know, good day. We're away. Lid's a long, long way. We've got the the coach taking us all down there. You know, fingers crossed. We have a similar performance than with to what we had today, and we walk away from there victorious. And uh, can have a good party on the coach on the way back. Enjoy, it, enjoy it. You know, leading up to Christmas and. Uh, the games we've got leading up to Christmas, we have three points out of nine so far, so hopefully lead, we can add another three and then finish up on Forest Hill just before Christmas and get nine out of nine. And that'd be a very good Christmas present, you know. And it's a busy month, John. We've got obviously Lid Town away, then we've got the Forest Hill Park Christmas Family Day, then we've got the Aperture uh, yeah. fundraiser. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to it, you know. Like I say, sir, I've picked up the people behind the scenes before and they do, they do a tr tremendous job to keep this club afloat and, and give the boys everything that they need. You know, not just on, on the pitch, off the pitch as well. And uh, we'll all come together and we'll end the year on a high, get spirits high and it rolls us into next year, 2020. Mm. Project promotion and uh, we'll be going up into 
the Premier Division and a new chapter. So yeah, this is what we're aiming for. Fantastic three points, John, and uh, congratulations, mate. And thank, thank you very much, mate. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers, John.